Lee Eye and Lafayette are the league's last remaining undefeated teams, and on Saturday, Lafayette will put that undefeated record to the test when it opens up with the league opener against Bucknell in Lewisburg, Pennsylvania. League play begins in Patriot League football on Saturday with the Bucknell Bison hosting the Lafayette Leopards on a CBS Sports Network telecast. Lafayette is off to a 2-0 start after a big win over William & Mary and Penn last week. And the Leopards will look to avenge a 39-13 loss to the Bison last season. Bucknell, which enters Saturday's noon kickoff with a 1-1 record after a tough loss at number 14 Delaware last week, is excited to have its home opener be the league opener. Our first home game in about 11 months, and uh, this is a uh, good place to play. There's something to be said playing at home and uh, they're excited about it. Lafayette is excited for the chance to move to 3-0 for the first time since 2008. A win over a team that handled them in the snow at Fisher Stadium last season would certainly be a nice way to move on from the woes of 2011. For coach Frank Tavani, he's already moved on. And the only thing I care about now is 2012 because this is a different football team. They're a different football team and uh, national TV audience at high noon on Saturday and uh, something to be excited about opening up the Patriot League. Lafayette is coming off an impressive defensive effort that saw the Leopards record eight turnovers, including seven interceptions, which matched a school record set in 1944. This week, the defense will have its hands filled with a dual-threat quarterback in Brandon Wesley. And then you have the element of the quarterback running the ball, and, and that's an issue. You want to talk about pass rush and all those things, but uh, hard to pin your ears back when that quarterback's running quarterback power and draw and all those things, and then scrambling. So that's the biggest issue, um, being able to contain him and certainly uh, we certainly are well aware of what they did to us in the run a year ago. Georgetown will also play in front of a national television audience kicking off at Princeton Friday at 7 p.m. on ESPNU. The Hoyas were a play or two away from being 3-0 after a close 24-21 loss to Yale last week. The defense, led by linebacker Robert McCabe, has been strong all season and they'll look to lead the Hoyas to 3-1 for the third straight season. Fordham and Columbia will meet up in the annual Intracity Liberty Cup game at 12.30 on Saturday. The Liberty Cup, which honors alumni from both schools who were victims of 9-11, was won by Fordham in the last two seasons. This season, the Rams' offense has been strong, led by the league's second leading rusher in Carlton Kuntz, who has 59 carries for 358 yards and two touchdowns. Fordham also has relied on quarterback Ryan Higgins, who has 622 passing yards and three touchdowns. Holy Cross will cap its three-game homestand to start the 2012 season with a matchup against Dartmouth at 1 p.m. on Saturday. The Crusaders are 0-2 after allowing Brown to erase a two-score deficit and win 24-21 last week. Coach Tom Gilmore obviously isn't happy about the start, but he thinks his team is heading in the right direction. We're an 0-2 football team, um, and uh, you know, um, obviously we felt better about how we performed against Brown. Um, and I think we're an improving football team, but you never feel good about things when you're 0-2. You question everything, but we have to you know, wipe, wipe those wounds away and, and get ready for Dartmouth this week. That's just the nature of this sport. Um, you, know, you have a, a final exam, so to speak, every week, and uh, you know, we have to get ready for this week and the rest of the season. Uh, I think uh, the, the motivation and enthusiasm has stayed there, but um, obviously right after the game you're not feeling, about, uh, feeling good about 0-2, and it provides extra motivation, if anything. Colgate will have one of the toughest games of the weekend, traveling to number 20 Stony Brook for a 6 p.m. kickoff on Saturday. The Raiders, who are coming off a 35-14 win over Sacred Heart last week, will look to keep the offense rolling on Saturday. Quarterback Gavin McCarney and running back Jordan McCord have led the charge, combining for six rushing touchdowns. McCord leads the league with 429 yards rushing, and McCarney leads the league with four touchdown passes. Lehigh will travel to Lynchburg, Virginia for a 7 p.m. game against Liberty on Saturday. The Mountain Hawks will look to extend the nation's longest regular season winning streak to 13 games. Lehigh will also try to get the offense back on track after getting shut out in the second half of a 17-14 win over Princeton last week. Lehigh wide receiver Ryan Spadola leads the league with 295 yards receiving on 18 catches. Quarterback Michael Colvin has the league best 746 yards passing. For highlights and scores from all the weekend's action, tune in the Patriot League Roundup on Monday afternoon. You can also follow all the action on PatriotLeague.com.